Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on animated name tags. So in front of me you can see my other account and his name tag above his head is constantly changing. It shows various different things. He has a suffix and a prefix and below his head it shows his health, his money, how many players are online and all other good stuff. So this plugin allows you to edit all of that as well as some other things such as the tab menu which is very very cool. You can see it says global at the top and the bottom which is definitely my rank in CSGO and you can edit so much in this plugin. So first of all let's go ahead and do 4 slash an. This will show us all the commands. So the top command is the toggle command. This is pretty straightforward. You do this twice to toggle it on and off like that. Pretty straightforward and that will show your own tag if you want it on or not. Then we can go into the world manager GUI uh, using this command and we can enable and disable various worlds in here for whatever reason. You might not want this in an RPG world for example. So left click to disable and you'll get a really cool firework, a really cool particle effect and it obviously pops up in front of you. Next let's, let's go into the player manager which is uh, near the bottom, there we go, and this will show us all the players in the server. So we have me with the Donald Duck head and obviously my other account who's a Stormtrooper at the moment. Uh, so let's uh, right click myself and in here we can change the prefixes, the suffixes, and we can turn on the own tag <coughs> or disable it. So um, let's go ahead and just add a prefix in here, it will list all of them. Uh, we have two blank ones here. Uh, so we are going to go down here, click add a prefix, and this will give up the repair GUI. So you can use color codes in this, even though it won't show the final result, it will work. So you can use AND5 and then AND L for example, which is bold, and you can write anything, so admin, if I can spell it correctly, there we go. So it doesn't show here, but it will work. There we go, it says prefix admin added, and as you can see it's purple and it's bold. And if we go back in here and go into prefixes, the third one along will be the new one we created. And obviously you can uh, rename it or delete it. So that is very cool. And if we go into the group manager, we can do a very similar thing in here just with groups. So if we go into uh, maybe rename group, you can see there are three groups at the moment. Uh, these two were default and I created this one earlier. So let's go back. Let's create a new group. You can obviously call it anything. This could be donators or or something like that. Admins, moderators. So once that's created, you can obviously edit it. And you can go in here, find it. Where is it? Donators. And we can left click to edit prefixes and right click for suffixes. Obviously a prefix is at the start of a name and suffixes at the end if you didn't know. And we can obviously add more in the same way. So I'm just going to add six test without the E. There we go, so it's been added. That's how you do it in game. You can obviously do A and reload. If you edit the config file, there is um, two YML files which are pretty useful and then three others uh, that we can edit as well. So we are going to take a look at that where we can edit the tab menu um, and various other things as well. There's quite a lot to edit, so let's go check that out now. So here we are in the animated name tag folder and as you can see there are four different files. Let's start at the bottom with the messages.yml you don't really need to edit anything in here to be honest. This has all the text and all the colors for everything in the inventories and um, various other things. There is also the prefix at the top which you could change but um, I wouldn't recommend changing any of this because it all looks pretty good. Let's go into the main config.yml and in here there isn't too much. You can obviously change the uh, type of firework, you can change the colors of it, you can list ops, you can have a cooldown and you can enable particles which obviously you'd want to because that looks cool and then you have some permissions down at the bottom so let's have a look at the configs folder now and this has four YML files in let's look at the tab list I showed you this in game as you remember we had global for the header and the footer you can obviously change this you can also change it for each group and um, you can disable and enable headers and footers if you don't want them so that is very cool you can obviously change the interval at the top as well or disable it in its entirety. Let's go into the ping tabs quickly. There isn't too much in here. This just shows player money health and uh, how many people are on the uh, server. The name tags is the next one. There is a bit more in here. Obviously we have all of the groups. Um, so we have donators, admins, owner. We did this in game. But you can obviously do it in the uh, config file as well. But I prefer doing it in game. 
Then we have below name. So this is probably the most important one. Uh, I think it looks the coolest. You can see there is uh, player health and then a little heart symbol. We have money and how many players are online. So yeah, that is everything to do with this plugin. It's very easy to configure. You can just add various different things, change colors, um, add groups, prefix and suffixes, whatever you want. So that is the plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.